Are you there? What? Dad? What's going on here? Dad? The door was wide open. Chaos all over the place. And my father has vanished without a trace. I hope nothing has happened to him. I'd better start looking for him. My father was never the picture of organization, but not even my place looks this bad. The map shows a section of Siberia. No idea why my father hung it up here. All these files and records have been thrown out over the floor. It wouldn't have been daddy. Someone was in a great hurry to find something. The inside of the dish is somewhat porous. The note says, and the prince said to the princess, whether vertical, horizontal, or in both main diagonals, make sure that there is never a repeat within a line. Hmm. Does that have something to do with the coins? You can use the valve as needed to release the air from the radiator. The radiator is lukewarm. The frame and glass are totally shattered, and the photo has been torn in half. A photo of Daddy on one of his expeditions Written on the back is 1958, Vladimir Kalenkov, and I've seen the photo before. But who was the other guy in the photo? And why was the photo torn up? I'll glue it into my diary. It might be important somehow. An award from the Russian Academy of Science. I think that was for an expedition that my father made in the 50s or 60s. A picture of my parents' wedding. I think Dad still hasn't gotten over her death. Looks like something has been embedded in that stone. It has a red-violet glow. The phone in the office. Private conversations are strictly prohibited. I don't know what's happened here, but I'd better call the police. Berlin Police Department. Hello? Nina Kalinkov here. You've got to send someone here right away. My father has disappeared without a trace. Since when? No idea. I wanted to see him at work, but he wasn't there. Instead, the place looks like it's been ransacked. Is your father suicidal or mentally unstable? What? No, of course not. Sorry, we can't do anything then. Adults can only be reported missing if their lives are in danger or if there are extraordinary circumstances. But this is an extraordinary circumstance. Keep calm. I'm sure your father had something important to take care of and we'll get in touch soon. Don't worry. Something important to take care of? Hello? Did you listen to anything I said? It looks like there was an earthquake here. Do you think he created this chaos himself and is looking for a cleaning lady right now? Like I said, I can't do anything for you. Sorry. Great. Thanks for nothing. You are a big help. What do I have to do? Send them two fingers first for them to get their butts in gear? A glass flask. I think this is where the rock samples undergo the first analysis. Loud music? Coming out of the office? It's not the stuff Daddy listens to, so he can't be in there. Maybe the person in there can tell me where he is, though. There's an index card with Max Gruber written on it. The door seems to be blocked from the inside, and the music coming from the room is so loud, my knocking probably can't be heard. An aloe vera plant. 
for Skin After 40. It burbles quietly. They must have taken the real nameplate down during the renovation work. And now there is an index card with Daddy's name on it. A list of local pizza delivery services. Information about the upcoming construction of an antenna tower in the neighborhood. A guy by the name of Schamberger whose dog whiskey is missing. As far as I can tell, nothing interesting. I take it the fuses are in here. It burbles quietly. That's an escape plan with all of the rooms in the museum. It's not up to date considering a few of the rooms have been blocked off for renovation. On this list are the names of the employees of the museum. Scientific Director, Vladimir Kalenko. Office 5. In Office 4, there is this Max Gruber. King of the Dinosaurs. Even the reproductions inspire fear. I certainly wouldn't want to run into one of them. It brings a little illumination into the darkness. The diagram is about how and if asteroids and meteors could have been responsible for the extinction of the dinosaurs. When I look at the description of the effects, the theory seems very plausible. Hard to believe that a dino with horns like that was strictly a vegetarian. Maybe it's not such a good idea to count on it. I hear noises coming from the statue. It looks like someone's in there. Hmm. There's a hidden door. Eddie, what are you doing in here? Oh, Miss Lena. Are they still here? Still here? Who? They... they came. I... I couldn't see, but suddenly I knew that they were there, and I, I went into a panic. I had to hide. And then I, I, I saw them. They, they looked like they were floating, but they were, they were just blurs. And the air was vibrating. They, they didn't speak, but, but these voices, these voices in my head, hundreds of voices. Eddie, have you been drinking again? No, no, I haven't been drinking, I swear. Well, at least not a lot. But they were really there. I could see them. I could feel them. I wasn't imagining things. Believe me. Those black capes. With, with those bony fingers. I'll never forget it. It's okay, Eddie. Just come out of there and... calm down. The poor guy's nerves are shot. I should talk to him after he's calmed down a bit. Key. Eddie must have lost it here. What luck! The key fits! I'll just turn Max Gruber's blaring music down to a bearable level. Ah, and I didn't save! What a mess! Redoing all of that work is gonna take hours! Mr. Gruber, please! Let me in! I need to talk to you! Hmm? What? Hold on just a sec. Hello, you're Nina Kalenkov, right? Yeah, how did you know that? Your father told me about you. I'm so happy to finally meet you. Were you wanting to have a look over your father's shoulder while he's working? I wanted to see him, but when I got here, the door to the museum was standing wide open, and his office was in total chaos. 
Oh yeah, Eddie was crouching completely terrified inside the reproduction of the Tyrannosaurus Rex and was stammering something about floating creatures. Hmm, this doesn't exactly sound like a strict observation of the work rules. But I'm not at fault, I haven't come out of my office for hours. What does your father have to say about it? That's exactly it. He's gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? He couldn't have just disappeared into thin air. I have a sneaking suspicion that something terrible has happened here. You really didn't see anything? No, unfortunately not. My father's room looks like it's been rummaged through. Do you know what my father was working on last? Not exactly. Actually, he was supposed to have been taking inventory. We're renovating. Yeah, I know, but... But he mentioned recently that the inventory wasn't top priority right now. Something came up that he wanted to tend to first. You don't happen to know what that was, do you? No, like I said, I was stressed out too. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary recently? Any strange occurrences? Was my father behaving differently than usual? No, not really. We haven't seen much of each other in the last couple of days. I was under a lot of stress, and he seemed like he had a lot to do, too. Darn. Maybe you should get the police involved. The whole thing sounds a bit unsettling. Yeah, I already tried. But they don't seem to be interested in my father's disappearance. The caretaker was totally out of his mind. Stammering something about men in black robes and strange voices. Eddie? Well, you know, he's a really great guy, but... But he likes to hit the bottle, I know. But I've never seen him like that before. He seemed like something had really scared him. Well, if someone really was here, then Eddie might have seen something. And combine his lively imagination with a bottle of whiskey. Yeah, but I think I'll go ahead and talk to him as soon as he's gotten a hold of himself again anyway. He's the only one who might be able to help me. I'll just keep looking. I'm beginning to feel like Eddie does. I'm totally confused, and I'm really starting to feel scared. If you need help, I'll be here. Okay. Thanks a lot. Who are you, and what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. Detective Kansky. I'm leading the investigation here, and who are you? Me? Nina Kalinkov. I called you. Well, well. So I hear your father disappeared. Yeah, I arrived here and wanted to see my father. He said he'd still be at the museum. And when I got here, the door to the museum was ajar and it looked like a bomb had hit his office. I'm really worried. Thanks for coming. Do you have any idea what could have happened here? I can't believe that my father could have created such a mess. Hmm. I don't even know your father, but we can't rule out anything. Do you really mean to say that... I'm not saying anything at all, dearie. I just take all possibilities into account as long as the facts aren't on the table. Do you think something happened to my father? Hard to say. I thought the police wouldn't be able to help me as long as my father's life wasn't in danger. Listen, girly. I've been in the business for almost 40 years. I know when something stinks. And this thing really stinks. And if you have something to do with this, then come out with it. I'll find out sooner or later. Hello? I called the police. Well, more like, I tried to get them to come here. Why would I do that if I had- Criminals always do the most illogical things. I'm not fooled by such things. Otherwise, I wouldn't have become a detective. Yeah, alright, I get it. You're a really clever guy. If you find something out, you'll let me know right away, right? Yeah. I need your phone number and address anyway. And don't leave the city. I might have some more questions. Now get out. You're just getting in the way and messing up the evidence. Strange guy, this detective, eh? Yeah, and not exactly the friendliest of his profession. But maybe you have to be like that in his job. Yeah, could be. The main thing is that he finds out what happened to my father. At least there's someone who believes that something is completely and utterly wrong. I believe you too. Thanks. And I'd like to help you, too. I don't need to go to bed anymore anyway, and I can always sleep when I'm dead. So, if I can do something for you... That's really nice. Just check and see if your father has already got home.
He might be worried already and is gonna sentence you to two weeks without allowance because you're late. Yeah, that'd be nice. Unfortunately, I won't be back at the office until this evening. But please come by or call me. If your father is back, then we'll have something to celebrate. If not, then maybe I can do something for you. Okay, I will do that. See you tomorrow, and good night. Good night. And sleep well. You too.